Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today, if you didn't see it in the intro, we're making a 2D image into a 3D animation using Luma masking to displace the image. So it's really cool. Uh, well, I did use, you know, color correction and a flare from Optical Flares, but I'll put links to those in the, in the description so you guys can check them out and see if you guys want to pay for them. Uh, it's not needed. You guys don't have to do that, but I think it makes it look awesome. So uh, anyway, I'll be providing all of these files. So give the video a like, you know, even this picture of me. It's very weird that I just took a picture in the bathroom and I use my iPhone. I didn't want to use either of the two very expensive cameras that I have because uh, I wanted to relate to you guys and actually use a regular phone camera and show you that you don't need very expensive equipment to do something awesome. I mean, I am in the bathroom. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it, that doesn't matter, okay? So give the video a like and also leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And with that, we can get started in the tutorial. So I already have After Effects and Photoshop up. So I'm just going to drag this photo into Photoshop into this blank canvas area and it will make a new comp or a new project, whatever you call it in Photoshop. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So let's uh, start off by double clicking this lock and just unlocking this layer. And let's rename it so we can actually uh, keep tabs and everything. Then let's hit Control Shift N to make a new layer. And let's just call this Luma. All right, awesome. And now what we want to do is hit B. And that'll bring up our brush tool. And then making sure that your foreground and background colors are black and white, white being the front, black being the back, we're going to hit Control Backspace, not Delete. I, I keep saying Delete, it's actually Backspace. It'll show up in the bottom anyway. But yeah, so that'll just fill the layer with black. And now what we want to do is we want to change the opacity. Let's just highlight this and bring it down to something like 75. And now what we can do is we'll go up to this button right, right up here. And we'll mess with the hardness and stuff like that. I don't want it all the way hard, but I don't want it all the way soft either. We want something in the middle. Am I right, ladies? Oh, wow, that's so gay. All right. <laughs> the heck all right so here's a little tip for you guys you can size up the brush by using the right bracket and size it down using the left bracket and what we want to do is just fill in the whole entire body with white and it does not have to be super precise guys I mean I've tried doing this uh, many times in the past and stuff and I figured out that the more sloppy you are, the actual, like, the better it looks in the end, strangely. So, here's the concept, guys. Basically, white will be what's forward most, and black will be in the back. So, just remember that little rhyme and you'll be good. Black is in the back. So, lower back down the opacity. I just made that up right now. I'm a rapper. I don't know if you guys knew that. I I'm very <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so let's highlight what's in the very front we're just moving things into the foreground right now so this is going to be more up front the thumb is too and also more of this because this is very in front this is the forward most thing really let's keep doing that cool and now what we want to do is just you know get everything in the first layer right here so boom good we'll go down the side here that's good right there. Uh, the nose and the side here will go up. Cool. I'll actually size it down now. We'll get this little eyebrow back here. And actually go across and make it look like I have a unibrow, of course. Go down here once. Awesome. And maybe get this side cheek too. And size it up. Get the chin a little bit. Cool. And then come down here and kind of get a little bit of that. Maybe one more pass up here. All right. And maybe size this down. Get a little bit of noodles down there. And now what we want to do is switch these two around and then just paint some black in. So in the, in the areas that you want to send to the back. Back. Black is back. Such a cool saying. Such a good rap. <laughs> All right. Ah, it does not have to be perfect, guys. You'll see what I mean. 
and definitely want to send the eyes to the back. It's a big one, guys. So size it down. Let's paint in, and actually, I want to like, really send the eyes to the back. Looks better that way. Cool. And maybe put it back down. Get the nose here. All right, so. Now, if you put the opacity all the way up, you'll see we have this very scary looking image. So we'll go up to filter, go down to blur, and go to Gaussian blur. And we'll just put a slight Gaussian blur on it. I mean, not, not too much because we use a soft brush. But with that, that should be okay. So now, uh, with both of these on, we're going to hit Control Shift S to save it. And we'll just name it something like AE ready but I already made the first one so I'm gonna go AE ready to save okay drop this down let's go into After Effects now and like I said I use magic bullet and optical flares you don't have to if you don't want to it's not really that necessary uh, file new new project and I'll just save it so you guys can have that at churchacheckit.com slash downloads <laughs> uh, senseless promotion alright <laughs> AE ready to let's open it up and here's the important part, guys. Don't make it footage. You want it composition. And hit OK. Now we'll make a new composition down here. And we'll do 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. Four seconds is fine. OK. We'll drag AE Ready 2 into here. We'll double click on it. And we'll turn off Luma because we no longer need it. Well, we don't need it on. We still need it, of course. We'll go over to effects and presets, and I already have effects and presets open and on displace, but you're going to want to type in displace. We want displacement map. We'll drag it onto photo, and now we'll change displacement map layer from photo to luma. We'll change the use to luminance and the use here to luminance. And now we actually want to drag the cursor all the way to the front and we want to animate this so this is where things get kind of strange we'll, we'll click the stopwatches like normal but this is where trial and error comes in handy you see you don't want your face looking too crazy weird <laughs> but you do want it animated a lot so you want it like I know I look weird but you want it to be a noticeable difference so if I keep going you see how weird <laughs> look how ugly I get Ugh. Look like sloth from Ice Age. <laughs> no, we we don't want it that much, but we do want it quite a bit. Like, like maybe barely 20. Like, let's see, 20. Whoa, whoops. Sorry, negative 20. And then we'll do this one too. Into the negatives. I like to start with negatives. You can start with positives if you really want to. Uh, let's do like five. Or four there, and 18 there. Yeah, that way I don't look too strange. I kind of look like myself still, but it'll fix itself very soon. Now we're going to drag it all the way to the four second mark, and we're going to go into the positives. And I want like positive 17 and vertical displacement. Let's do like not as much there where I still look the same because somewhere in the middle I'm going to look normal. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> Goodness gracious. And then here I don't look normal anymore either. Maybe that's a little too much on the vertical. Let's go 15. Actually, that's not where it messes up. It's the vertical. It's really the vertical displacement where it gets strange. So let's go four there. All right, now let's hit zero. Just kind of take a look. And the reason why I say that it's okay if I don't really look like myself to the very end is because the camera movement actually covers a lot of that strange lookingness. Like, watch, I'll show you. We'll go back into the comp, and now we're going to make this whole composition a 3D layer. Then we're going to right click, go to new camera. And let's just create a new camera let's name it camera 35 millimeters is fine no depth of field uh, and then we'll bring down the camera options and what we want to do is uh, let's first start out 
and actually zoom in a little bit so we have more room to work with. Cool, and now let's set some keyframes here on point and position. And we'll just mess with these settings because the animation, since I went from negative to positive, is going from left to right. So we want the camera to be up and to the left at first. Let's play around with all of these settings. Cool, and then we'll go to the very back. And we want it to go over here. Cool. Want to go low. We want to switch this around. Maybe not so much. I mean, just play with it, guys. That's what she said. All right, I'm going to hit zero and just see how this is looking. Well, <laughs> see, it's looking pretty cool, huh? And like I said, uh, it, I mean, the camera movement didn't cover it completely here towards the end. It looks a little too ridiculous here on the nose. So let's try to fix that quick. Actually, it's not that. Let's put this to six and actually bring this down then. 14. There we go. See it again. I'm hitting zero to pre render so I can see what happens. Alright, that looks freaking awesome. And like I said, guys, uh, I'm gonna put in some color correction and a flare. So I'm gonna hit Control Alt Y to create a new adjustment layer. Let's select it, hit enter, and just call it CC. Then let's go Control Y and call this Flare Yo Nugget. Because we can. And then let's, uh, you know, go over here and start typing in some things. Let's start out with uh, looks. Magic Bullet looks because looks makes it look awesome. That's on our color correction. And then let's just type in flare for optical flares. And I do have a tutorial on making the flares look awesome, the regular lens flares. You can go check that out. It was only like three tutorials ago. So just go on our channel and go find it. Goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> now, uh, if you want, if you actually have optical flares, like most of you guys do, uh, let's go render on transparent. Let's go F4 to bring up the blending options. Let's go screen. And let's send the flare to 3D space by going the, the source type to 3D. And then let's go all the way to the beginning and position it over here. Behind my head, of course. Go into the options. And let's go select a flare that we like. This one doesn't look like any of them I've used before, so I'm going to use Outside Streaks and hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to color correct this. I'm going to go to color correction. You know what? Actually, I kind of don't want to use Magic Bullet looks anymore. I actually just want to use like curves or something. So let's actually go over to the color correction tab right here. Go down until we find curves right here. Drag and drop it onto CC. And let's add our own cool looking picture actually. It's already overexposed, so let's drop that down. Let's go into the red channel and we'll drop it down a little bit. Blue channel, raise it, give it that kind of purplish vintage look everyone's always after. Too much. Cool. Actually looks pretty sick. Alright, and uh, let's actually mess with this a little bit. Let's uh, bring it up. Let's just animate the flare quick. Position X, Y, go all the way to the back and drop it down. Cool. And let's also add some flicker in. Speed, we'll just do something like 13, amount, 30. Okay, and with that, our animation is now complete and it looks awesome. So uh, I'm just going to render this. So let's go up to composition and go to add to render queue. And let's go to lossless here. And let's just change it to H.264 or Windows Media. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use Windows Media this time because I like to change it up. I don't care. As long as it's small, 
<laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> what the heck is up with that joke? All right, now I'm going to hit save and render, and it is done. So I hope you guys learned something cool. I love teaching you guys new stuff, and I can't wait to see you guys on Sunday or Tuesday. I don't know if you guys want me to make a tutorial on Sunday or not. I guess I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to leave a comment and a like, because it helps out a lot, and you might be at the end of the video. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.